lot, but I think it deserves to be told. It deserves, well, I think it deserves, you know what I mean. I think it deserves to be told. Basically, first of all, we went and wanted to explore the nether. So, we went off in a certain direction. Then, we eventually came upon multiple biomes. The first one was the basalt biome. There, we killed a bunch of magma uh, cubes and got a lot of blocks. From there, we moved on and we entered a few other biomes. One of them being the Crimson Forest. And uh, it was beautiful. And we were going on through when suddenly I saw, I saw a bastion out of the corner of my eye while I was bridging across a gap. So, we ended up exploring that bastion. We did get a little bit lost. But in the end, it was worth it, because I got a bunch of blocks, which are right over here. This is my nether storage area, and um, it's right on top of my other storage area, so it's very easy access. Because there's so many nether items, I made this storage area to store all of them, or most of them. Uh, so as you can see here, I got some netherite scrap. As you can see, I've got almost full netherite armor. And, uh, I got another right pickaxe, which is pretty cool, uh, in my opinion. Um, now if we go down here, uh, as you can see I got a bunch of this stuff, right? But over here is a bunch of blocks from the Bastion. This cracked, polished blackstone bricks and this gilded blackstone are, um, only obtainable in the, in the, uh, Bastion. Now, if you go over here and ignore the cow noises, uh, you can see I've put a few items on sale, and a few things have been switched around. I just made a bunch of money, um, uh, 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 made a bunch of diamonds off of some recent sales of Crying Obsidian. As you can see uh, up there, I, I, I have uh, a bit to spare. Um, uh, the bees are still doing well, there's nothing really to know about that. Um, now, let's, uh, let's continue our story. So it was beginning to get a little bit lost, so we, uh, but we eventually found our way out uh, through a very niche area and walked back and continued going. Uh, we, we, we went uh, very far, actually, and, um, and then we decided to end at a tiny little island with the new blue forest on it. Now, this island was extremely small, and uh, there wasn't really much on it. Um, but it was still interesting nonetheless, and, uh, Gunfire, uh, wanted, uh, a bunch of blue wood for, um, his project. I'm not, ex I'm still not exactly sure what it is, but, um, I'm excited to see how it turns out. Now, basically, what happened next is, everyone logged off, and we were like, yeah, this was pretty cool. Uh, but later, me and, uh, I, Gunfire and I later logged on, and uh, we explored even farther, and we eventually came to a uh, another basalt biome, and then we went through that, and we ended up in a huge basalt biome. It was just beautiful. I mean, take a look at some of these screenshots, um, and uh, and we eventually found a huge blue forest for all of his blue wood needs. Um, eventually, we came back home though. And, uh, he was able to do whatever he wanted to do, and I was able to create this storage area. Uh, and make these netherite tools. Now, if you, if we go to the, uh, blacksmith shop... Oh, that was just sad. <laughs> now, if we go to this blacksmith shop, uh, you will see that we actually have a, um, uh, the blacksmith thing here. And some stone cutters and the anvil. The, uh, the... The upgrader is uh, courtesy of James, uh, it used to be like around here, but he said it was okay to move it into the blacksmith shop since that makes the most sense. Um, now after these events occurred, uh, Gunfire and I uh, went back into the nether once again, uh, I think along with uh, James, but I'm not sure, and uh, we mined a lot for netherite. And as you can see, I think it paid off. Um, you need uh, like four netherite scraps, um, and there's like one per ancient debris. So you need to find four ancient debris and have five uh, gold ingots in order to um, 
create a, a netherite ingot, which then you combine with one of your diamond tools, and it becomes a netherite. So, um, yeah, that, that's pretty much uh, the end, where our story ends. But uh, if you look over here, you can see there's a little enderman down there trapped in a boat. Oh, now it's mad at me. Um, that's Agri. And uh, if you. Oh, hold on. 360! Oh, it's really loud. Yeah, yeah, Agri does get mad sometimes. Um, but it's, it's mostly okay. It's not really a problem most of the time. Um, uh, she, she just kind of hangs out there. Um, yeah. I've expanded my farm a little bit. Uh, and there's nothing really else to uh, note. Uh, I would really love to show you guys the exploring we did and the fun we had, but, you know, since we had to restart the computer, we lost pretty much all of the footage. Um, so, I mean, yeah, I guess... Oh, one more thing. Uh, we retrieved the Ender Dragon Egg from the end, and we put it on top of this nether portal, uh, or the nether portal, on, like, this pillar with, like, old block in the middle. And with Enstone on top, I think it looks really nice, and uh, it's a nice tribute to what we've accomplished so far. And uh, I think that basically concludes the the server. I mean, there's basically nothing else to do now. I guess my friends are gonna like up upgrade uh, all of their gear to Netherite, but even then, you know, what's the point? I mean, you're not gonna get anywhere with it. So I think that kind of concludes the. Uh, the server saga. I, I'm not really sure what we're going to do next. If you have any suggestions, please comment on them down below. Um, because we need content. I guess we could do the mini games. That would be fun. Um, yeah. Otherwise, though, I'll see you guys in the next video. And um, without further ado, gamer salute.